Are you awake? Was it a nightmare? You even cried out. Look there, the red sun will soon set, and we must be on our way. It's been a difficult journey. Only you have ever made it this far. Now let's press onward. We're almost there. Soon, a giant shall be awakened here. And then, we shall reach our final destination. Air of Ages. Your journey ends here. Just as planned. Again, I trust you'll take care of it. Shalt thou pay for thine sins? Careful now. It's not over yet. Paint the sun crimson with their blood! <laughs> Foolish mortals. You're not hurt, are you? I admire your resilience. Final destination. Quickly now, after it.
me to history. Why is nothing happening? Is this another of that fossil cartian's tricks? Here in Histria lies our final destination. We'll have to part ways soon. Too soon, wouldn't you say? I seek the ancient ruins beyond that door. The slumbering ancient weapons will likely rise to its defense. Kill them all. This is my final request. I pray that you return to me unscathed. For my sake as well.
Finally, I've made it back, and with the key to break the seal. Travelers of distant times, take this body as your vessel. With this power, I can continue pursuing my charge. Shocked I betrayed the trust you gave so easily. Sorry, but you should have known better. see you're awake. Nice to meet you. My name is Eden. I'm a ruins excavator. Huh? 
You've forgotten who you are, and where you came from. By all outward appearances, you look well enough. Did you hurt your head? We found you with that atoll's heart we excavated yesterday. At first, we mistook you for a mummy. What in the world happened? Worker, come hither. Haven't you heard time is black stones? Lord Jordine isn't half as patient as I. <laughs> the eminent Lord Jordine must be as quick as a choppy on a full moon. Now, I would love to hear your story, but it seems like it will have to wait. I was hired to excavate the ruins down below. Since the princess's prodding eyes are upon us, let's continue our conversation there. <laughs> scared the daylights out of me. Are you... Uh, what is this nonsense? When did you start working here? How do you not know this already? When the moon comes up, shall we have a nice little chat by the loo? Who's your supervisor? We can bring him along to get an earful as well. It's well said, isn't it? I swear he's left his brain on a deserted island somewhere. How does he expect you rookies to survive? Well, Sam! I am a generous person. I come and shall teach you all you need to know. This ancient weapon is called an Ator. It's absolutely dangerous. So do not touch it! How dare you stand so close? You... what? The way down to the ruins... what? <sighs> now even these peons... Mills! Do you know how hard I worked to make this excavation happen? Need I have you all discharged to be taken seriously? I shall gladly take whatever punishment you feel is adequate once we return. But, Princess, I beseech you to withhold your anger for just a moment. How dare you stand in the way of Princess Jorette of Serendia? If we were not out in the field, you would have been severely punished. What would compel you to ask such an obvious thing? Did Eden originally hire you on as a mercenary? Do you not know the ancient chamber excavation site is directly under the command of Princess Jurette? We told Eden how important this site is, yet he dares to bring in someone so wet behind the ears. He's making it quite hard to trust him as a leader. We'll be lucky if we find anything at all before the deadline. Eden was handpicked by our eminent Lord Jordine. Do you doubt the Grand Chamberlain of Serendia's shrewdness? I... Sincerely apologize, Princess. That was not what I meant when I said those words. I shall punish you for your suspicions in time. For now, just concern yourself with how to restore his honor. Yes, I shall give this new recruit a fitting task. Fortune truly favors you. 
Follow me. Ruin's excavation starts with picking up a pickaxe. Break the stones around that ruin and fill the cart. It's a simple task, so go to the soldier below once you are done. But, I will say this once, overconfidence is a fool's folly. Eden's strong new recruit finally arrived, I see. Now tell us, how did you get locked in the sights of that spoiled princess? Oh, uh, never mind. You didn't hear me say a thing. Anyways, it seems like you know how to handle yourself. Follow me! Do you see those hungry wolves stalking about in the grass? The horses won't budge thanks to that scary lot. Sir Roig may appear like he's not watching, but he sees all. So this is the time to show your stuff, my friend. Weren't you an excavator? I thought you'd get eaten live. But it seems you've some use. I'll grant you access to the ancient stone chamber. Go and help Eden finish up with the excavation. Practically drooling over those relics. Does a visit to places such as this make your heart skip a beat as well? Oh, 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 oh. So you're the living relic Eden discovered. <laughs> a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Luffy Bed Mountain, at your service. I'm not sure why no one has ever stumbled upon this stone chamber up until now, but uh, I guess you're some sort of lucky charm, aren't you? It just so happens that the day you awoke was the day we finally cracked the secret of these five stone murals. These murals of prophecy have been speculated to have been painted by the ancients. They depict the rise and fall of the Kron Kingdom that was central to Balanos. Take a closer look. Who knows? You might be standing in front of your own creations. And you've just forgotten about it. <laughs> A depiction of Noir III of House Bartali, the last king of the Kron Kingdom of Balanos. The enormous crown symbolizes his unchallenged authority. The only thing he feared was death itself. One day, an alchemist from across the desert sought audience with Noir III. My master shall grant you eternal life. <laughs> if I heard that, my eyes would be big as dinner plates. Eternal life. Quite the thing to crave, especially in a world where many struggle to eke out a full living, even once. Alas, 
The prospect of immortality blinded Moir III, and he took the alchemist's offer. The blood and organs of 100 children and maidens, all offered up as sacrifice to the alchemist. The king's madness swept throughout Balanos as the people's resentment reached the heavens. But the III made no effort to stop the ritual to summon the alchemist's master. By the time the king learned the truth, that the alchemist served the evil god Hadoom, his concerns had narrowed to the point where he cared not of such things. Fortunately, Elion, Arl, and their believers did not remain idle, and the ritual to bring about Hadoom into this world was halted. Though, in doing so, the castle was toppled and shattered to pieces, the mighty kingdom of Kron joined the many other kingdoms lost to history. This was barely over 150 years ago, but do you know what's even more amazing? I, at Lovely Bed Mountain, use the latest advancements in archaeological dating to determine exactly when these murals were constructed. Perhaps. These stone murals were made not 150 years ago, but much, much further back. How ever did the ancients peer so far into the future? Ah, right. I've saved the most interesting mural for last. This one depicts a prophecy that's yet come to pass. It's the Breaker of Chains who freed the vengeful souls sacrificed to summon Hadoom to our realm. Yikes, look at the time. Take this information regarding the final mural and bring it to Martha Keegan down there, will you? You can't miss her. She's unreasonably tall and wears glasses so big you would mistake her for a frog. Just listen to her speak and you will catch wind of her temper. Yeesh goose flesh just thinking about it. <laughs> 